Doctor Who Spearhead from Space Episode 2 Oxley Wood, Moreau, O.C. Stop, stop firing, you fool. Moreau pushes his way through the shrubs and checks the doctor's pulse. Moreau, what happened? Forbes gave us no warning, sir. Moreau, how could he, with his mouth taped? Forbes, is he dead, sir? Ashbridge, Cottage Hospital Ward. Henderson, no. Brigadier, unconscious? Henderson, yes. He's more unconscious than anyone I've ever seen. Have a look at this EEG. Brigadier, EEG. Henderson, the machine registers the electrical activity of the brain. Normally, the line fluctuates considerably, even when the patient's unconscious. Moreau, not a lot going on, is there? Henderson, nothing whatsoever, completely passive. Brigadier, perhaps that bullet did more damage than you suspected. Henderson, no, that only caused a slight burn on the scalp. It couldn't possibly account for his condition. Brigadier, then what is the cause? Could it be shock? Henderson, could be, but I doubt it. No, he's, 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 he's in such a deep coma, coma that I say it is. Brigadier, is what? Henderson, self-induced. Brigadier, is that possible? Henderson, for you or me, no. But we're dealing here with a completely alien physiology. All I can do is guess. Brigadier, well, it's, is it safe to move him? Henderson, I honestly don't know. I advise against it. Henderson, Brigadier, oh well. You keep me informed of any change of his condition. Henderson, yes, of course. Brigadier, thank you. Henderson, oh, by the way, Brigadier, yes. Henderson, we found this in his hand when he brought in. He had to prize it from his fingers open. He was really hanging on to it. Henderson holds up the key to the TARDIS. Ashbridge Cottage, Hospital Gardens. Brigadier, the police box is on its way back to the headquarters, as you can... So you can double guard, double guard here. Moreau, yes, very good, sir. Brigadier, where is the meteorite your traps found? Moreau, here we are, sir. Moreau lifts an ambition box into a classic bus... Was stood by the path. Moreau, it's all we could find, sir. It must have broken up when we hit the ground. It's just a transparent section of cover of one of the objects. Brigadier, it's light, very light. Moreau, some sort of plastic, sir. Brigadier, yes, possibly. I'll take it back with me. Have it, have it taken to my car, will you? Moreau, yes, sir. Hawkins, with an order passed on to a soldier. Moreau and Brigadier, walk on. Brigadier, keep a 24-hour guard. It's possible these people might try again. Well, well, well right, sir. Right, sir. Brigadier. What puzzles me is why they should want to duck the doctor. Moreau. Could you be tied up with them in any way, sir? Brigadier. Yes, it's possible. Anyone can get a good look at them. Anyone get a good look at them? Moreau. I've got a picture of one of them, sir. He has been early posing as a reporter. Moreau takes out a picture of the Brigadier. When he arrived in a hospital, with a passive man behind him. Brigadier, how did you get this? Oh, I made a check on all the press men, sir. One of the photographers took this shot when he arrived with Miss Shaw, and two of the nurses saw this man leading the raiding party. Brigadier, what about the others? Moreau only got a glimpse of them, sir. There's something odd about their faces. Plastic surgery factory, sections of plastic doll. The being made in moulds and pulled up and thrown in pins. Later they have hair and eyes added. A tolium blonde woman leads a man for the factory floor. Then out past the conveyor belt, taking the finished dolls to the packing room. Her face is shiny, as if she's very and she's very hot and needs to apply some powder. Ransom. There are a lot of changes. You're new, aren't you? Aren't you? I ain't new. A woman leads him upstairs, past the door labelled, out of bounds, security sector. Ransom, that's my workshop, or rather it was. What the devil been going on here? The passive man follows them quietly. Office, Hubert, into the phone. Yes, send him in. Ransom enters. Hubert, John, come in. We weren't expecting you, Ransom, weren't you? What's this all about? Ransom puts a letter on Hibbert's desk. Hibbert, the letter explains everything. Ransom, it explains nothing. Look, when I invented this doll, you promised me full backing. You sent me to the States to invest. Interest to 
Americans in joint production. You said it would all worked out. You make me a partner. Well, here it all it is all it is all here it all is. Arrange, arrange agreements, ready to sign, advance orders a lot. And what do I find and met when I get home? A letter telling me, giving me the push. Look, we worked on this project together. Well, you won't help me. Well, you've helped me finish the designs. Now you put the chop on it. Just like that. For heaven's sake, George, you owe me some sort of explanation. Hubert, uh, it's a new policy. We're, what, we've uh, got a new policy. Ransom, what happened to this place? Most of the staff's gone. Security notices are everywhere. Hubert, you're developing a new process. It's all very secret. We've ch- changed everything. Ransom, I say you have. Whole layout of the factory floor is different. My workshop, what's in there now? Hubert, stay away from there, John. Ransom, but what about my equipment? Hubert, we'll send it to you. Ransom, just like that? Hubert, I don't think you should have come here, John. You must go away at once. It's not safe, Ransom. What's the matter? You're keeping saying, you're keeping me saying we. We've got a new policy. Well, who is we? Pastor Mayor answers to Hubert, rubs the back of his neck. Hubert, there's no point in going on with this, Mr. Ransom. Goodbye. Ransom, look, this, is there something wrong? Is there anything wrong? Perhaps I can help you. Herbert, Hibbert. Impassive, there's nothing wrong. My letter explained everything. Goodbye. Ransom takes his letter and leaves, staring at Passive Man right in the eyes on his way out. On the landing, he stops outside the door to see his old lab, to his old lab. Then notices a Passive Man watching him and goes down the stairs. Unit Laboratory. Liz Shaw is rigging some pipes up to chemical equipment. Brigadier, am I interrupting? Liz, yes. Brigadier, getting on all right? Liz, fine, just fine. Brigadier, sorry about the makeshift conditions. But I had to get this, set this lab up for you in a rather hurry. Liz, fine, fine. Brigadier, found out what it's made of? Liz, no, but it isn't a meteorite. Brigadier, you established that much? Liz, meteorites are the debris from comets. Liz has been manufactured. She places a shroud. A beak of solution. Brady, it comes from space. These are some faint traces of huge fusion. It's possible. Brady is still sceptical. These are course that deal with facts, not science fiction ideas. Brady, Miss Shaw, I'm not a fool. I don't chase for shadows. But you, what you don't understand is there might... What you don't understand is there might... There is a remote possibility that outside your cosy little world, things could exist... There's no need to get tetchy, Ligonier. Well, sometimes you can be very aggravating. Liz, me? What about you? You really believe in a man who helped save the world twice? The power to transform his physical appearance? Ligonier, I'm not quite, I'm not sure yet. May not be the same man. Liz, the alien who travels through time and space in a police box? Or office, office, Hibbert. It's becoming difficult. The impassive man finally speaks, chatting. All you have to do is continue running the factory, so nothing can change. This is your sole concern, Hubert. Do you understand, Hubert? I understand. Turning good. Two energy units are still missing. Hubert, do you think the stranger at the hospital has found one of them? Shanning, it's possible, but it's dangerous to go near him again. Hubert, then what can we you what can you do? Turning the units may have embedded themselves to soft ground. That account for the fact their signals are no longer being received. Hubert, how you locate them then? Channing, they will increase their pulsation signals. Hubert, you talk about these energy units as though they were living things. Channing, all energy is a form of life. Outside of Silly's cottage, outside his fat timber frame cottage, Silby the poacher drags a large chest from an outhouse. He opens it to real and pulsing, beeping globe. Out of the woods, a figure dressed in a boiler suit turns its head to shop front. It has the head of a shop front dummy. Then it moves off. Meg, O G C. Sam, you in yet? Sally quickly puts a globe in the outhouse and shuts the door as a woman comes out of the cottage. Meg, what are you doing out there? Why don't you answer me, Sally? Never heard you come in, Meg. What are you doing in, with that old box, Seely? Nothing. Meg, Sam Seely, you've been thieving again, haven't you? Because if you have... Seely, oh, that's nice, isn't it? 
Uh, accusing your own husband? Meg opens the, the chest. See, he's satisfied? Now go and get some grub, me some grub, woman. I'm hungry. Meg, you'll watch your tongue. I don't think I'm going to have that dirty old box in my house. Meg goes back to the cottage. Once she's inside, Steely opens the door, outhouse door. Meg comes back outside again. Steely, what are, what are you, what are you staring at, woman? Meg goes back indoors and Steely puts the bugalo back in the chest. Mannequin in the woods stops. Unit, uh, the laboratory. The TARDIS has been delivered. Liz, now all you have to do is borrow a key from the police. Brigadier, I've got the key here. Henderson found it in the doctor's hand. A buzzer sounds. The brigadier goes to the intercom. Brigadier, yes. Soldier, O.C. Major General Scooby to see you, sir. Brigadier Scooby? Well, what on, well, what on earth? All right. Show him it up to Liz. He's our liaison with the regular army. Get him to, to keep, get, got to keep it. In with him. Liz, you don't expect me to salute him, I hope. Brigadier, you could bring yourself to be a little as a student. Miss Shaw, Liz, I don't ask to come here. Remember? Scooby's escorted in. Scooby. I am thank you, thank you. Sorry to interrupt, sir, Stuart. Brigadier, worry not, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you. Scooby, this meet your operation. Any further? Scooby, so Brigadier, not much, I'm afraid. Friend of fragments of one through those, oh, sir. Miss Shaw is studying them. Scooby, ah, Brigadier, ah, Miss Shaw. General Scooby, Liz, how do you do? Scooby, how, ah, uh, how do you do, Liz, fellow? The lucky fellow, Stuart, having a pretty face around the place? Brigadier, she's not just a pretty face, sir. Scooby, oh, no, no. Newspapers seem to have gone wild over this business. Cheer, chap. What are you doing with a police box? Really well, sir. It is. Come camouflage, General. It's not really a police box. It's a spaceship. Ashbridge Cottage Hospital car park. Forbes is looking at a vintage red motor car. It is reserved for the doctor's parking space. Moreau drives up the Land Rover. Moreau, where did you, that old crate come from? Forbes, it belongs to some hospital bigwig, sir. Just arrived. Made me promise I'd keep an eye on it. Her oh, own, never mind that. Hop in, in. Colonel, Corporal, hurry man, section fee. I turned up one of those meteorites. Ashbridge Cottage Hospital Corridor. The doctor's still in his hospital gown and socks and sneaks out the ward. Henderson, good journey d- down, sir. Beavis, terrible, you know. There's no room for a decent car. On the roads these days, the doctor enters his room labelled doctors only. It appears to be a change room, lots of clothes and hangers and lockers. Through another door is a grand a Victorian marble sunken bath, a cast iron shower, designed like a crown. Beavis. What are all those toy soldiers playing at? Edison, they found the patient. Since, sir. Uh, Beavis shot him? Uh, Henderson, yes. And, uh, Ashbridge Cottage Hospital bathroom. Someone's trying to... Sh- Taking a shower and singing. Henderson, yes, it's rather unfortunate. It is the doctor with a prominent tan line above his buttocks and wearing a shower cap. He keeps his back to the hospital doctors. Beavis, I left my car down the main entrance. They won't go to crashing about with guns or anything like that, will they? Dr. Beavis removes his red silk cape and watches his hands. Henderson, no, sir, I'm sure it'd be all right. Perhaps you can... Care to come to my office and have a look at the patient's records before you examine him? Beavis, good idea. I could do with a cup of tea, too. Henderson, yes. The doctor's... Lots of leave. The doctor grabs a towel and starts looking for clothes. Grabs a pair of black trousers from the hangar in the change room. Being around the woods, the soldiers dig up a globe. The mannequin turns and marches off through the blackened. The doctor's donned a frilly shirt, floppy bow tie, and Beavis cap. Cape. He tries the flat cap, but decides the Beavis for tour is a better look for him. But he's decided Beavis for tour. For tour is a better look for him. Ashbridge Cottage Hospital Corridor. Doctor steps out the room. Henderson. I see an error on that report. Doctor goes back inside. Henderson, these anomalies are completely inspicable. Inspicable. Beavis, let's go and see this. 
This freak, I don't dare, shan't dare, believe it until I see it with my own eyes, Hanson. I assure you, sir, it's ev- that's everything I told you. They go round the corner to the ward, and the doctor comes out of the room. Beavis, oh, I see, all right. Where is he? Where is he? Henderson. Through there. The doctor leaves in the opposite direction. Henderson, nurse? Beavis, is this some sort of prank? Where is the patient? Henderson. That's what I like to know, sir. Head the nurse, as the doctor looks at the assortment, the doctor's car parked up in front of the entrance. Little MG is locked, so he climbs into Beavis' stately roaster and fiddles with the controls. The horn honks. He gets the engine started. Finally, he finds his uh, verse. And then F3226 is driven away. Unit laboratory. Beavis, oh well, at least he won't get very far. Liz, you mean before your men shoot him again? Braggadier, I don't find it funny. But the machine, the doctor is stuck. He can't leave Earth. Liz, you're about to open it. Braggadier, yes. Liz, I think you should. There might be a policeman locked inside. Braggadier puts a key in the lock. We won't turn. Braggadier, that's odd. Liz, wrong key. Oxley Wood. Fools and another soldier bring the ammo box, containing the globe, to Moreau's Land Rover. He opens the box, Moreau. Weird-looking thing. Fools, yes, sir. Moreau, get in the, to the vehicle and back to the unit labs right away. Land Rover. Fools is driving along. The figure steps out in the road. Fools, watch out. He swerves, catching to the vents of his vents of tree. A mannequin walks over to where Fools has left his blood on the windscreen and goes to the back. And picks up the ammo box. Control room. Mannequins in boiler suits stand along one wall. A strange coffin sized tank on a pedestal contains what looks like a giant collar line. Chairing, Channing answers the intercom. Very sophisticated panel. And lots of dolls and meters. Channing, yes? Hubert. OC, Hubert. Channing turns the dial and Hubert enters. Have it. General Scooby will be here soon. Telling, I know. I've almost finished. Unit HQ. The doctor drives in t- into the hung- underground garage to be stopped by security. Doctor, all right. All right, I suppose you want to see my pass. Yes, well, I don't, haven't got one. I'm not going to tell you my name, either. Now, you just tell Brigadier Liveridge, Stuart. I want to see him. Well, don't you just stand there arguing with me. Get on with it. Unit laboratory. Sir Brigadier, the doctor. Security. O.C. Yes, sir. He says you know him. Brigadier, show him up at once. How the devil did he find his place? Liz, your mystery man with a phone box, phone box, police box. Brigadier, yes, the doctor enters. Ta-da. Ah, there you are, dear, my dear fellow. I bet you're wondering how I found you here. Brigadier, yes, the doctor shows off a rich watch, which is beeping. Doctor, fortunately, had it this with me, you see, it homes in on the TARDIS. Ah, oh, there she is. How nice of you to look in after her for me. Do you happen to have got the key, by the way? Brigadier, I do, but it won't work. Doctor, ah, aha, but it will for me. Brigadier, not so fast. I've a lot of questions to ask you, Doctor. My dear Brigadier, is no earthly good asking me a lot of questions. I've lost my memory, you see. Doctor, how do I know you're not my imposter? Da da ah, but you don't, you don't. Only I know that. What do you think of my new face, by the way? I wasn't too sure about it myself to begin with, but it sort of grows on you. Very flexible, you know. Could be useful, plate Deberon, where the communication of uh, with the eyebrows. Well, that's strange. How on earth did I remember that? Brigadier, yeah, all right, all right. If I accept you all the dot. You are the doctor. There's still a lot of things, by the way. There's still a lot of things, by the way. This is Dr. Miss Shaw. Dr. Wiggles, his eyebrows. Doctor, that's a derophon. So how do you do? Delighted, Miss Shaw. Delighted. Liz, what are you doctor of, by the way? Doctor, pra- doctor, practically everything. My dear, my dear, from what we can gather, you arrived last night in the middle of the Mitchell meteorites. Doctor, I, did I really? How terribly exciting. Brigadier, well, objects and space at any rate. You have realised that you, I can't let you go until I'm sure there's no connection. Doctor, no, I have no recollection of last night. That's just most unfair. How could I possible, can I, how could I possible that, what on earth are these? Liz, there are bits of these, what Brigadier thought might be a meteorite. Doctor, plastic? Liz, it's not thermoplastic. Neither is it thermosetting. 
There's no poly- polymer chains. Doctor, that's interesting. I wonder what was inside. There's inside? Because, yes, well, you can tell from the shape. This is a hollow spear. I should think the space inside was what, about 3,000 cubic cubicles, won't you? But, dear, do I go you're going to help us, Doctor? Doctor, if only, if you will, just give me the key to the tarnish, but dear, possibly. Doctor, then go away and let Miss Shaw and I get on with your work. That's a good, that's a good fellow. Look, I'll, I really have to call, do I really have to call you Miss Shaw? Liz, no, Liz, just Liz. Brigadier Liz, that's much better. How many of these things actually come down? Brigadier Liz, 50, as near as we can estimate, Doctor. You found any fragments? No whole ones? Brigadier, no, only one, yes. But that was an accident. It disappeared. Doctor, that and the answer to your question is obvious, isn't it? By the time your search period you arrived, rest of those things have been collected. Collected and taken somewhere. The question is where? Rats has carefully negotiating a bar of wire on top of the fat wall of the factory. Office. General Shuby Scooby is standing next to the life size dummy of his feet with his features. How bit. I must explain this is only t- rough estimation, General. Scooby. Yes, it does seem to need a few, a few finishing touches. Telling this is why we need, we asked you here, Colonel General. Emerging techniques are very accurate, but the equipment isn't transferable. Transferable. Scooby, I see. Well, I hope it turns out alright. Telling it will, I assure you. General, if you come this way, Ransom pries open a do- door in that the factory, picks up a large cow bar, heads up a um, metal staircase, brings it out, him out to the stair, door between his old workshop and Hilbert's office. He starts crowbarring the doctor workshop door. Control room. Ransom enters, puts the crowbar down and gazes at strange equipment. His old room. He goes over to the tank in the middle. One of the mannequins walks up behind him. Ransom turns his eyes, popping out of his head.